So the next subject then, after you name your trustee, you want to consider who is going to be your trust protector. We created that position because we have, in the 30 odd years that we've been in business, realized that it's an awful lot of power. What if you can't get rid of your trustee? We created the trust protector. His sole function is as many things as you want to give him, but his sole function is to be able to remove the trustee at will and rename a new trustee, or he's there for checks and balances. For example, in our trust agreement, we use $35,000. So any, any, any expense of $35,000 and above, both the trustee and the trust protector have to sign. He can also resolve any kind of dispute between the beneficiaries, the grantors. He can also fire the trustee and remove the assets to a safer position. Like for example, uh, to move it from the state of New York where they have a 10% tax plus state plus all kinds of these taxes to New Hampshire where there is no tax or Texas or Florida. A trust protector that individual, again, is a, an independent person. Your next best friend, your CPA, your insurance man, anyone that, again, that is not related to you by blood or marriage. Could be an in-law, yes, it could be an in-law. But always, does it make sense that your in-law, you know, can you trust them? Especially if you're married to his wife, if they are the parents of your wife, you want to be sure that, you know, you don't overstep these kinds of relationships. Or maybe it may make some sense to have a trustee to be an in-law, but your best friend to be the trust protector. Now, that makes a lot of significant sense because if the in-laws aren't doing what they're supposed to be doing, protect the assets in a fiduciary capacity, or let's use an example. You and your wife, your parents are the, uh, her parents are the, trustees and you and your wife uh, contemplating divorce. Now this is where it makes a lot of sense to have your best friend become the trust protector. Or if your trustee gets intimidated, uh, intimidated meaning that uh, you know lawsuits are going to start going back and forth and the trustee has to answer for where the assets are. Of course they're not going to be able to get to the assets, but how do you choose a trust protector? Again, someone that you trust above your trustee.